Hey guys, so we've just conducted a uh, intake valve clean on this Mini. Mark from MGA Drive uh, is the owner of this vehicle. He'll make a video, I'll put a link to it. But um, just the main thing here, a lot of the videos won't tell you this. So, in this bracket, there's a little bolt that you need to loosen to get the manifold out. Obviously the rest is, um, you know, it is there to be seen. The sound symposer has to come out. You want to be disconnecting this very early on in the job, the valve timing solenoid. You want to remove the spark plugs and obviously put it on top dead center and the valves will be closed when you do the clean. Um, it's a very, very hot day here today and I never actually, I don't know why I made a video while we were doing it, but that's the machine over there. Uh, this is the BMW adapter here, uh, mini adapter, and uh, there's the manifold over there. Look, it's a job where you've got a lot of car, uh, walnut stuff moving around. You want to be taping stuff up. It's not a, it's not the best job to do in the world. It's, it's something that would get easier over time uh, when you do it, but still, it's quite a messy job which takes a lot of care and patience. The main thing is that bottom bracket on the manifold, which goes on here, okay, you want to remove. And also, um, ah, that's what this video is about. So to soften the carbon and just reduce the amount of walnut, um, walnut, you're do, walnutting you're doing, um, I use a uh, combustion cleaner, which is this one. It's su similar to a Subaru upper engine clean. I guess if you had to, you'd spray carby cleaner in there and loosen it up. But the more you loosen stuff up, the quicker it'll be. Now I'll just try and get a quick shot of the valves. They look like um, little snowmen before, like little, uh... oh, that's not gonna happen. Hang on. So before we did the job, you got the valve stem and it had all these round, like, um, it had um, heaps of gunk around the valve stem. You can sort of get an idea there. Okay, I'm getting a bit of reflection off my lens. It's a bit hot here, but uh, very hot. But um, that's the job. Um, you know, we got a very good result. You do not need to walnut blast for 10 minutes or not even five minutes per side. Like, uh, that's not to say it's still not a four or five hour job, but um, you do not need to blast the walnuts for 10 minutes as we've seen on YouTube. We got immediate results. It was more about moving the nozzle within the specific tool. I think this is actually, this particular one's for the N55, but when you move, uh, when you, you, you can't put it in too deep. So when you put the nozzle into there, oh, here we go, that's the mini tool. Um, you wanna be holding it up. Uh, the further in you go, you might wanna go in a little bit, but you wanna be holding it right up here until you do this and move between the two valves because there's a divider between them. You will not get one of the valves clean. You'll seem to get one and not the other. So by alternating it that way, high up, we actually made a bit of a mark which is gone now. It was about there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay, you might wanna sort of measure the depth of this and measure the valve. And that way you'll get really, really quick results. There were some issues with the machine blocking up. Um, and we cannot mention enough how to be very cautious, be very, very cautious using this, using this machine. Uh, you know, make sure the connections are all tight and stuff. This for the US market, I don't think anyone here really does it. But anyway, if you need your Mini done, um, or your N55 uh, X5 or uh, N330, uh, BMW, uh, this is the place. So we're now putting it back together. Mark will make a separate video. Cheers, guys. Bye.